Aero Legends' mission is to provide customers with the opportunity to relive the flight training and flying experience of Battle of Britain pilots using authentically restored wartime aircraft from that era, including the legendary Supermarine Spitfire. There are few occasions in history when we can say that the actions of a few changed the destiny not just of a country, but for the world. The Battle of Britain is one of those moments. Great Britain owes a debt of gratitude to the small number of Allied pilots that protected our skies during the long summer of 1940. And Aero Legends keeps the memory and knowledge of this period alive for future generations. Spitfire Mark 9 TD314 was built at Castle Bromwich in late 1944 and fitted with a Merlin 70 as a high-level fighter. She was one of the last high-back Spitfires built as the production line switched to low-back aircraft in February of 1945. She was delivered to 33MU at Lynham on the 30th of March 1945, transferring later that month to 30MU before a further move to 6MU where she was prepared for service with 183 Gold Coast Squadron at Chilbolton on the 24th of June 1945. 183 Squadron only kept its Spitfires for a short time before re-equipping with Tempests. TD-314 moved to 234 Madras Presidency Squadron at Bentwaters on the 26th of July 1945. It is in this squadron's colours that she is currently finished with the squadron coat of FXP. Whilst with 234 Squadron it is possible that TD-314 took part in the 1945 Battle of Britain fight past over London. When 234 Squadron converted to meters, TD-314 was transferred to 29MU at High Urkel for disposal on the 27th of February 1946. In early 1948, TD-314 was selected as one of the 136 Spitfire Mark 9s to be sold to the South African Air Force and she was sent to 47MU RAF Zealand where she was packed for shipment, leaving Birkenhead on the SS Clanchatton on the 23rd of April and arriving at Cape Town on the 12th of May 1948. Details of her use with the South African Air Force are not known, but she was sold for scrapping to the South African Metal and Machinery Company, Salt River, Cape Town, sometime during 1954. She remained in the scrapyard until recovery by Larry Bennett of Johannesburg in 1969. From there, she passed through the hands of several owners before arriving in the UK via Canada in 2009. Acquired by Aero Legends in 2011, restoration commenced at Biggin Hill, culminating in the first flight on the 7th of December 2013. TD314 is heavily featured in the new Haynes manual on Spitfire restoration, having its picture pride of place on the front cover. TD314 has been named St George, which is prominently displayed on the fuselage. <laughs>